How's it going guys? I'm Danny and this week my topic is the mental game. Now if you've played with me you know that my mental game is not the strongest part of my game but I believe that using this philosophy behind the mental game sets yourself up for success and it's what I see most of the pros using. So in this video I'm going to talk about a casual round versus a tournament round. In a casual round I'm working on one of three things and that is changing my form, learning a new disc, or learning a new course. Now I only work on one of these things at a time because they interact with each other. If I change my form and I try and throw a new disc, that disc is going to fly different compared to all of my other ones. So it's important to only change one at a time to keep everything consistent. Now when I'm changing my form, the first thing I do is I go to a field and I throw as much as I can. I start out slow and then I build up to quick and I really cement the motion in my muscle memory. Then I take it to a course and I practice it for a round. This really gets me comfortable throwing like that on a course rather than in a field and it helps me hit my lines with the new form. Now when I'm learning a disc, the process is really similar. I go to a field first and I throw the disc and I learn how it's going to fly, but then I take it to the course and I throw that disc on every hole, no matter what disc it is, because that means I'm going to learn a lot more about the disc. I'm going to learn how it flies when I throw it hard or soft, hyzered and hyzered, forehand or backhand. That's going to teach me how the disc is going to fly for every situation I might need it. The next thing is learning a new course. Now if I'm learning a new course, I'm not going to change my form ahead of time and I'm not going to put any new discs in my bag. I'm generally going to throw three or four shots on every hole. Now when I'm learning a new hole, I'm looking at consistency rather than luck. I'm looking for a shot that I can throw and more than half the time put myself inside the circle. Now when I'm playing a tournament round, my mentality is entirely different. The first thing I do when I know I'm going to play a tournament round, this is either the night before or driving to it in the morning, is I plan every tee shot. I think ahead and I know hole one is going to be a truth, two is going to be a felon, three is going to be a defender, four is another truth. I plan all that out in my head and that means on tournament day when I get there, I don't have to worry about disc selection. The only time this might change is in any sort of windy situation, but then that's the only variable I worry about when I'm standing on the tee. Now I also do this for my second shot. After I've thrown my disc and I see where it lands, I immediately start thinking about what my next shot is going to be. I calculate all the variables based on the wind and the trees and everything. This requires an in-depth knowledge of the course. But that means when I arrive at my lie, I have one, maybe two discs in my hand and I don't have to sit there and think about what I'm going to do before I get up and execute my shot. Now when I'm playing a tournament, all I'm focused on is execution. That means when I stand on the tee, I imagine the disc flying and I imagine what I have to do to get it there and that's all I'm worried about. In my mind's eye, the only thing that I see is the flight of the disc and that removes all distractions. That means I'm going to be a more consistent player. Now the problem with this is that it's really frustrating. When I put so much effort into making the disc fly a certain way, when it doesn't fly that way, it gets really frustrating. So it's important to have a short memory. So at the next tee pad, I can clear my mind again and focus on the flight of the disc. So that's all I've got for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. Next week, I'm going to do another pro versus am side by side form comparison because you like the last one so much. And I'm actually doing it with a different pro and a different am, but I'm not going to tell you who that is. That's going to be a surprise. Now, I would love to do one of these for women. I don't see nearly enough instructional videos out there for women and I would love to fix that. So if you're an amateur woman and you want to send me your form so I can compare it side by side next to a pro, I would love to do that message on my page on Facebook and I'll get back to you and we'll work together there. If you'd like a regular one-on-one -on -one form critique, message my page on Facebook. I'd love to help you out there. I love doing these. They're a great way for me to build my game and my teaching ability. So subscribe so you see the video next week or any videos I put out in between. Thanks for watching guys and remember till next time, slow is smooth and smooth is far.